Gerard Tyson with that patented white towel, the black shorts. This is as good as it gets, champ. I mean, what an iconic look, right? I mean, it is what our childhood was made of. Watching Mike Tyson with that stare, with the posse, with the crowd walking to the octagon, ready to go and tear somebody up. Iron Mike Tyson with the white towel and the black shorts and no socks. Dude, this is what us kids in Louisiana, we looked up to him. He was a hero. It was like he was wearing a cape because he had on the white towel. And I know you've seen some of the training footage. Got a pretty good sprawl. Perhaps that's going to be useful here tonight. A lot of these heavyweights are going to try to take Tyson down. Let's see how it goes for Iron Mike tonight. inside the octagon. Tyson is ready to fight tonight. Well, a special feel in this arena tonight for more reasons than one, but of course, the centerpiece is the former two-division UFC champion, the future Hall of Famer, Conor McGregor, returning to the proven ground here tonight. He fought three times in 2016, just once in 2018. Everybody's excited to see what version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. There are more Irish flags in the building uh -huh. than you'll find anywhere in the United States of America. Uh -huh. And it's all for the notorious one. Conor McGregor has taken his country put it on his back and rode it to superstardom. He is a fantastic fighter, has really good takedown defense, which allows him to keep the fights on the feet where guys are always in danger. You're constantly in danger whenever you're fighting Conor McGregor because the moment you attack, that counter left hand is like a piston and he can shut your lights out with one strike. Yeah, that McGregor counter left hand, truly one of the best weapons in mixed martial arts today. A master when it comes to movement and distance management and also just rising to the occasion, right? When all eyeballs are on him, and you've experienced this as well, the ability on fight night to shine. All the distractions, Connor is able to shut him out, and he goes into the octagon, is focused, and always gets the job done. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Iron Mike Tyson. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The notorious Connor McGregor! Herb Dean, our referee Ready, for this fight. one. Ready. Good. All right, so here he is, Iron Mike Tyson, formerly the baddest man on the planet. You know the flurry is coming. He'll throw uppercuts and hooks, use that signature peekaboo style, and get inside. On the other side, look for his opponent to try to take him down and neutralize the striking game of Mike Tyson. If you can't get him to the canvas, you're likely in for a short night at the office. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its own way. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up. Oh, he's in a lot of trouble. Oh, body shot. And just misses with that big right hand. McGregor's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, how good is this? One minute into the fight. 
and we got a full-on brawl. These guys said that they were going to point to the center of the octagon, and they were going to fight. Did I believe them? No. So right now, I am so wrong. They are doing exactly what they said. Yeah, shades of Max Holloway against Ricardo Lamas back in the day. Start. All right, so we build this as a striker's delight and a good early sign for the boxer getting inside and landing that hook on the kickbox. Beautiful hook in close, staying tight so that the kickboxer is very limited with using his legs, but he can always land and turn on that beautiful hook. So just a 20 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Oh, and there's that patented McGregor left hand. They got up bronze that left hand and put in the Hall of Famer. I mean, you know it's coming, but because Connor does such a great job of managing space, he's so quick, he's so active, you don't know when he's gonna throw that punch. exercise in risk mitigation right there. Oh, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the Oh, McGregor's in half court. Beautiful strike there as he continues to attack that cut. Cut man's gonna have some work to do if we get to the stool between rounds. But that's why we got the best in the business. We got the best cut men in the business, and they are going to leave him right now because this cut is getting worse, and it's only gonna continue to get worse because he has got a killer in front of him. Now they separate. Another shot like that. Oh! Forward, forward, forward. And blocks the shot there. McGregor's eye now closing up. Good job. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Seconds to go in this one. Unable to land with that punch. Let's go. Keep pushing forward. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body. Start to that up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now. It's starting to show itself. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. Ready. Ready. Go. Round two. 
Straight right is there. Good jab there by the Oh, nice jab. Man, that Conor kind of McGregor left hand is just an absolute piston, and it lands again. It's like an animal. Like he hits people, and they fall down. And he understands the power that he possesses. So he's willing to throw it over and over again. I just keep thinking back to him in Eddie Alvarez, how every time he hit him, he just knocked him out of his shoes. Conor McGregor's left hand is as good of a single strike as there is in the UFC. Yeah, he needs to register that. <laughs> Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Solid kick right there. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that finish. Right hand over the top. Bait and go. Bait and go. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball. Oh, Drops inside that closed guard, DC. Full guard. Let's see how patient he is as he attacks a submission or big ground and punch. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Tyson. And he's back up. Tyson's nose. Is oh, he is hurting for certain. Three minutes to go. Great upper body movement defensively. Slips another strike there. And offensively, he has... We might get a stoppage here soon. He passed the half guard. Oh, McGregor's eye is essentially swollen shut at this point in time. And I'm not sure there's any end swell in the building that's going to open that eye back up. They might stop this fight. Oh, nice job working hard. Posting and getting back up. That's good. Oh! Woo! What an absolutely crazy knockout here, and that's going to be a hard knockout from which to recover for his opponent. But the celebration is on. One of the biggest wins in his UFC career. Massive win for this young fighter. He got the knockout victory. What a performance! All right, here one more time, the veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 33 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Iron Mike Tyson. So Iron Mike Tyson getting it done in the UFC yet again. I know a lot of people had some pause when he transitioned from 